Good morning, class. Today we're working on 4-2 homework, and we are multiplying by powers of 10 again. And you're going to see here in our practice on numbers 1 through 9, you're multiplying numbers um, like 60 times 40, 70 times 40. We reviewed the powers of 10 and how the shift for powers of 10 works in 4-1. So I'll go over that again really quick, and then I'm going to show you a trick. So we have 60 times 40 for number 1. And when we do this shift for powers of 10, we take into account the two zeros, and we're going to complete the multiplication of the other numbers first. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. And I have two zeros, so I'm going to shift it twice to the right and add it in. And 60 times 40 is equal to 2400. You can see I shifted two places because I had two zeros. So your answer for number 1 is 2400. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you a quick trick that um, I learned. Now I want to understand powers of 10 before you use the trick, but I have a trick that's called hanging the zeros that my teacher taught me when I was young. So we have the numbers um, 700 times 60, and this is number 3. And what she taught us was the first thing you did was count the zeros, 1, 2, and 3. And then you took those zeros and just hung them, brought them right down, one two and three and then all you had to do then was seven times six is equal to 42 so your answer is 42,000. Let's go ahead and practice the hanging the zeros one more time now that we've already practiced the powers of 10. We'll go ahead and complete number four together and here we have 300 times 50. And again like I said when she did the, the hanging the zeros she just had us count the zeros one two and three and then hang them right down one two three then you complete your five times three which is equal to fifteen so your answer is going to be fifteen thousand let's go down and look at our table which is the data we're going to use for numbers 10 11 12 and 13 today the table shows the sizes of farmer Rubens fields Use the table and a separate sheet of paper to help you answer each question. You might need a separate sheet of paper. There's actually quite a bit of workspace over here, so if you don't need a separate sheet, you don't have to worry about it. We have a cornfield, and we're going to map out our cornfield. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to create a nice big rectangle, and I can see inside my rectangle I have three different types of grain and corn, okay? So we are growing corn, Okay, so one section is going to be corn, and it's going to be about 400, it's going to be 400 feet by 60 feet. So we're going to say 400 by 60, and this is our corn. Then we have a section that is a wheat um, field, and it's 700 by 60. 200 and so we are going to adjust this and we're going to knock this down a little bit okay because this is going to be oops right about here it's going to be 200 but it's going to be a lot longer because it's going to be 700 and then I'm going to erase this line here and now I'm going to write what my wheat field is and that is 700 by 200 and then our last one is our barley field, and it's 200 by 200. And so we'll go ahead and make this another extension of this one, 200 by 200. And we'll go ahead and label that one, 200 by 200. And again, this one's barley. And I'm going to go ahead and label my wheat because I see that I forgot to do that, wheat. Now, <clears throat> number 10 asks us, what is the area of the cornfield? So we can see in our drawing that our cornfield is 400 feet by 60 feet. And in order to find area, we remember, okay, and we practice this quite a bit at the beginning of the year, area is equal to length times width, okay? So for our cornfield, we need 400 times 60. And... 400 times 60, I'm going to practice, I'm going to hang my zeros, and I can see I have three zeros, so I'm going to bring them on down. And 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So I can see I have 24,000 
and this is going to be square feet of corn. So again, you can write that on the line here, 24,000 square feet, S-Q-F-T, of corn. Number 11 asks, what is the area of the wheat field? Well, we have the exact same formula, area equals length times width. So here we have 200 times 700, and I'm going to practice hanging my zeros. Count them up. I have one, two, three, four zeros. So I'm going to write down one, two, three, four zeros. And seven times two is equal to 14. So I have 140,000 square feet. 140,000 square feet for the wheat field. And then our last, or number 12, the last box here is, what is the area of the barley field? Well, the barley field is 200 by 200. And so I'm going to write that one right up here. 200 by 200. Again, I'm going to practice hanging my zeros. One, two, three, four, because there's four zeros, and two times two is four. So it's 40,000 square feet. 40,000 square feet. And the last one says, how many square feet of land did farmer Reuben plant in all? So we need to know what is, all, what is the total square footage with all of those combined. And so in order to figure that out, we're going to have to do some addition. We're going to have to take the square feet of each of those separate fields, each of the areas, and add them together. And we have the largest one, I always like to put the largest one on top, that's just how I think. Um, the wheat field is 140,000 square feet. We have the barley field, which is 40,000 square feet. And then we have the corn field, which is 24,000 square feet. And we need to combine them, so that operation is to add. Okay, we know that 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Same thing here and here. We have 0 plus 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, plus 2 more is equal to 10. Put down my 0, carry my 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have a total of 204,000 square feet for the farm. All right, you can go ahead and complete um, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 on your own, and you can practice the shift of the decimal or the shift to the right adding in your zeros or you can practice hanging the zeros either way today. When you're finished please take a picture of your work, attach it to your assignment, and upload it in Teams. Thank you.